Alright, hello everybody. Um, today I have a video here for you on how to download games from miniclip.com. So, you're going to want to open up your web browser. For some reason, this does not work on Google Chrome. I have not tried it on Internet Explorer, and it does work on Firefox. So, um, yeah. I don't play mini clip games normally, but many, many people do. I just don't find them very fun. Um, so, waiting. Alright, here we go. So, what you're going to want to do is first you want to know what mini -gip clip game you want to play, and then go to it on the website, or I guess you could Google it. Um,. I apologize, my computer is really slow because I have the Camtasia recorder up recording both audio and video. Alright, so here we are. You know, you just want to go to it like you'd normally do anything. Um, it's coming. So, what this does is it basically lets you play the game entirely in full screen which is pretty cool and you don't have to do much after you do the first thing so yeah cuz I've heard that I I'm never on mini clip but I've heard that you can't play mini clip games in full screen or at least most of them but yeah Alright, so here we are. Um, it's really slow. So now what you do is you want to wait for it to be able to start the game um, to be at the title screen of the game or whatever. Right here. So now this is pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to go to file. Hang on. Alright, and then you go to save page as, or you could just do control S all together, you know, saves more time I guess. Click on that. And then, do you want to save it wherever, you know, save it as whatever, click save. I'm just saving mine to the desktop because I'm going to be deleting it afterwards. So this works for most mini clip games. Maybe a couple don't work, but pretty much every single one does work. And you won't get a virus or anything from this because, yeah, you just won't. And this might also work actually for other websites apart from mini clip game for apart from mini clip because if they're the same kind of format, uh, I think it's shockwave, something like that. And yeah. Alright, so downloaded it and stuff. And just close that. And then you can close your Firefox or web browser. And then I'm going to drag what you need over into this corner. Alright, so these are the two new things that you should get when you do the download. You really don't need anything. Um, All you need is to open this file up. Now, you want to have your view, just click on view right here, set to details. Um, I don't know if anything else will work, but details is the best. And you go down, and then there'll be, always be something somewhere along of the lines of the name of the game, the miniclip.com, or just the name of the game. And it will always be saved as a shockwave flash file thingy. And it's right here, redbeard.swf. Um, so that's all you need in this. So I'm going to drag this out onto the desktop. And 
let's see. Making sure it's on there. Looking for it. My desktop's full of crap. Um, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. It was right here all along. Alright, so then you can just close that. This is all you needed right here. You can delete both of these. Just delete. Yeah. That's all you have to do now. The only thing you have to do now is open up Firefox, whatever. Now anytime you want to play this game in full screen, the only thing you will have to do is simply drag this file onto the start page of Firefox or I haven't tried it on anything else apart from Google Chrome but it seems to be a little bit different and it might or might not work, I don't know. What? You want to make it a little bit smaller, the window, so you can drag it into it. Alright. Move it to the side. Here we go. Just drag Redbeard right into there. Your computer should go a lot, lot faster. So and here we go. We have it. Nothing else, just plain this. Just click OK. Um, it's fine. And then you can start playing whatever game you downloaded. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. Um, bye.